The Flathead Girls Wrestling Team has been one of the best in the state since girls wrestling became a sanctioned high school sport in 2020. Now, with state just around the corner, they're looking to claim their third championship title in the program's young history. I think they have a lot of fun together. They all really care, um, but that fun piece, the, the want to be here, the, the want to be around your teammate, the want to work hard. One captain, who is only in her second year of wrestling, after playing everything from flag football to volleyball, knows that with the effort wrestling requires, it separates itself from the crowd. How difficult the practices can be, like we're all in it together, so it's like, I may be like dying during practice, but so is everyone else, so it's probably just the team that's my favorite part. Fellow senior and captain, Brady Ball, has been wrestling since the third grade, and the sport has played an integral role in shaping her life. I liked being that person that stuck out in a room that's like, oh my gosh, she's a girl, she wrestles, she does like the most uncommon thing, it's so cool. And it takes a strong person to be able to do this sport, and I am strong, and I think it's made me really independent, but responsible and respectful to other people as well. Having been a part of over a dozen different wrestling teams over her 10 years of wrestling, Ball knows that the Flathead team stands above the rest. This is a team that just feels the most like home. I mean, I've got a family here. I know that I've got girls that I can count on, and I have coaches that I can rely on and go to whenever I need. The team's third captain, Bella Downing, has been wrestling for six years, and to the family fostered by the culture, that has helped her fall even more in love with the sport. I have only a brother, so I love having like a whole bunch of sisters, a whole bunch of like different age groups too. And just having different kinds of people on the team and just like being friends with everybody. Like there's not just a stereotype wrestlers are mean. Like all of them are so sweet. And I after placing third last year at state following back-to-back -back championships, the team is itching to add that third title, but knows it all comes down to the work at square one. Obviously, everybody always wants to win that match, win that state title, and it, it, it is a goal, and, and we encourage the kids to write down their goals at the beginning of the season and write it down, revisit it every day, talk about it, but know that what makes the magic happen is what's being done in the room right now. As for the expectations for the team as they prepare to take 20 of their 32 girls to divisionals and then head to state? A lot of girls going into divisionals are brand new this year. They don't seem new. And I feel like our girls have gained so much experience just in the time being of their first year that I feel like we are going to win state this year. State for Wrestling will begin at the Metro Park in Billings on February 9th as the Flathead Girls look to claim their third state title in program history. In Kalispell, Carter Culver, MTN Sports.